testing the litter robot for best day ever for you and your cats. Awesome. Okay, I can first off tell you I like this new drawer. The bag because I have those little things to tuck it in. Looks like um, the litter is less likely to fall out on the edges like it does on the Litter Robot 3. Um, so it looks like it's just wrapped around here instead of being tucked into these edges where inevitably when the litter tray gets too full and cut off dumping it, it falls on the side. So I like that a lot right there. The lid um, comes off by pushing. There's two tabs on either side. So I'm going to push that and remove that. It pops off really easily. Now, this is the globe. And it's a lot lighter and more compact than the original. Um, so it's a lot less to handle when you're trying to clean it out, it looks like. So I like that also. Um, so I guess I handle here to carry it by. Okay, plugged in. Put it in there. the blue lights flashing so I'm going to put this out and I like how it doesn't spill out like it did in the original or the Little Robot 3 so um, this bag wraps around the entire drawer completely there's no place for it to fall out of the sides reset button and we're good to go. Now we're going to cycle it. It's time to empty this robot. We're down to nothing. So to empty it, we're going to push, I think it's this one actually. Yes, it's this button. Um, this is the reset. This is the cycle button. So here it is, emptying it all out. And you see how quiet it is. This is a huge improvement over the Little Robot 3. Um, this is in my bedroom. I think I may have mentioned that before. Um, it doesn't bother me when I'm sleeping. The other one, I'm a light sleeper. It would wake me here and there. Um, even if it's outside the bedroom door, I've, one of my friends says it can wake her outside of her bedroom door. Okay, so I let the litter get too low. So um, this didn't come loose. So sometimes you're going to have to um, kind of scrape it off if it gets too low, and that's totally my fault. 
and to remove it, you're just going to push the tabs on the side. It comes off really easily. Um, and And then I kind of just try to rotate it to get this out. Um, you can um, cycle it back and just wipe it out, but um, I like to remove it. It also really seems like it emptied everything out because with the Little Robot 3, a lot of times, like once we um, did the dump cycle, there'd still be a lot of litter debris left in, and that's why I would remove this um, and then try to empty more out before trying to clean it because then you're trying to clean you're like putting spray solution in there and you're making mud with the litter but um i'm not seeing anything um falling out of here like normally it would come out of this so um this is the first time i've emptied it completely and tried to clean it i'm impressed with that because that is a pain when you're cleaning the litter robot three um having the additional litter debris fall out after it's already been dumped so um yeah i'm not seeing that so this looks like it'll be a lot easier to clean. I won't have to take it outside and hose it out as often. I can just um, cycle it back to its start position and wipe it out. Okay, so this was just wiped out with a Clorox wipe. It's all ready to go back inside. I'm really impressed with the fact that there, during the dump cycle, it seemed to get every bit of litter. Um, the Litter robot, robot 3 would miss a lot of litter. I'd have to take it outside, try to dump it out before I could actually clean. And, and this one I was just able to wipe out with the Clorox wipe. So that's huge to me. It saves a lot of time. Um, this unit is a lot lighter and smaller when you, need to, when you do want to take it outside and do a deep clean. It's got a little carrying handle here, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm just going to put it back in. Now it's gonna, it's set to go, it's reset. All I have to do is add the litter back in. Here in the Litter Robot 4 app, I noticed something new is that it records the cat's weight when they go inside the globe. You can see when they're inside the globe, when a clean cycle is completed. You can also see an overview of how many times the robot has been cycled and how many times the cat has been inside the globe per week or per month. Uh, you can also do some controls such as cycling the robot from your app.